Have you ever wondered how chefs make the best mac and cheese, soups, stews, and sauces? Well, today I'm going to give you all an industry secret, the chef secret to making the best mac and cheese, the best oxtail, the best seafood gumbo. We are making a roux. A roux is spelled R-O-U-X. Whenever you're making a roux, you're going to use equal parts flour and fat. You don't have to use butter, you can use lard, you can use bacon fat, vegetable oil. You wouldn't typically use an olive oil just because of the flavor profile that it brings, but there are different oils that you can use. So we're gonna start off in a medium sauce pot on medium heat with five tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna melt this. This takes about 30 seconds to a minute. We're then gonna add five tablespoons of all white purpose flour. We're gonna mix this together. As you can see, you wanna make sure that butter coats the flour all over. It's going to form a paste. As the flour and the butter heat up, it's then going to foam up or bubble a little bit. This is normal. Don't freak out. Now, when you're making a white roux or a blonde roux, this is the secret to making mac and cheese, but chefs won't tell you, or to making the classic bechamel sauce that you'll learn in culinary school. When you make a bechamel sauce, you're gonna start off with the roux. You're gonna add milk, salt and pepper, a little bit of Tabasco, a little bit of nutmeg, and your favorite cheese. So my favorite cheeses are Havarti, Gruyere, Monterey Jack. Literally, this is how you make the best macaroni and cheese. So it takes about two to five minutes to make a blonde or a white roux. Whenever you're making biscuits and gravy, this is also the type of roux you're going to make. Now, as you continue to make a roux, it is going to change color. It's gonna go from white to a beige tan color. The longer you cook a roux, unfortunately, its thickening properties are not the same. A white roux will actually thicken a, a gallon of milk uh, quicker and have a better viscosity compared to a darker roux. So right here, we have been cooking this roux for about five to eight minutes. It has a peanut butter color. If you had smell of vision it would smell very buttery and a little nutty in the kitchen. Next, if you want to make the best etouffee, the best Cajun Creole cooking, or even the best oxtails, or uh, as you can see, one of my recipes I made on my videos, the aphrodisiac Jamaican curry goat stew, this is the roux that you wanna make. This roux, at this point, it's been about 15 minutes, and it could take up to 30 minutes to get to this color. It's what is gonna create that richness, the deafness, the color, the flavor of the best gumbos or the best soups and stews that you'll ever have. Now, what chefs won't tell you is that there's a secret to making roux without doing this process on the stove. You can actually take the same amount of flour they tell you in a recipe, put your oven on 350, and put your flour on a cookie sheet, and you're gonna mix it for about 20 minutes in about two minute intervals. And as long as that flour turns a, a brown color, an amber color, that is the secret also to making the most flavorful stocks, soups, and stews. That's the secret, you all. Making a roux. Look at this mac and cheese. It is just beautiful. It's creamy, it's golden brown, and literally, Check out recipes on the internet to finding more recipes that use roux or even using baked flour. I hope you all enjoyed.